Hey everyone, okay, so today I thought we would um, do this tutorial and it's an editorial from the Pillow Talk palette, which is the larger palette. And I thought we would replicate this, but replicate it realistically. So if you have a look at this picture, it's a beautiful picture. I really like this photo, but obviously it's for an editorial. It's been retouched, it's close up. But the one thing you will notice is that the space that the model has from her top eyelid to brow is really large and it's very very large and you see this a lot in the editorials because it's easier to apply makeup on a model with a lot of lid space. Now in order for me to replicate that identically I would need to do this. That would pretty much give me the space um, from lash line to brow but as it is this is the amount of space that I have to work with which is very little. And let me just kind of show you with a dot. So in order to see the eyeshadow, it needs to be right here, which is basically on my brow. And this is a problem that I think a lot of women or men um, face when dealing with eyeshadow, is that a lot of people don't have this huge space. They have much smaller eyes. And when I say a small eye, I'm not talking about this part of the eye. I'm actually talking about the space between upper lid and brow. So from here to here. And that space is very short. What that means is that anytime we enter the crease of the eye, even if we're doing a very subtle look, it can look quite dramatic because we've approached the eye very, very high. And I'm going to explain a different technique in another video for that. But in this video, we're going to try and replicate this look on a smaller eye, my eye, but we're going to see how it turns out. It's going to be pretty dramatic because of the reason I just said. So let's make a start. So what I'm going to do is start with the um, lower lash line first, because I just tend to prefer that. Let me put the focus on so I can see what I'm doing. Okie dokie. Right, so we're going to start um, underneath the eye because I just find it easier if I start on the lower lid. And this is this tutorial in general or this picture it's a very it's a strong look there's no doubt it's a strong look but i like that so we're going to go right the way in and i like to get that lower kind of lower lid taken care of first i always have done so this look basically uses three browns so the lightest brown is going to go um, right into the crease. There's a dark one on the outside corner and then the liner. So I'm going to take this tissue as a stencil, take it to the outside corner and I'm going to start into the crease. I'm going to just bring it onto the lid and I'm just going to angle it out because this tutorial is angled, this editorial. And you can see now I've come right the way up here so when my eye is open, you can actually see it popping through and come right the way in because there's a hard edge on this photo at the outside corner and inside corner. So let's just get on with it. Okay, so we're now going to take the darker eyeshadow and we're going to place that on the eyelid and on that outside corner. So right here. And then you just want to smooth it onto the rest of the visible lid. Make sure that it connects at this outside corner. Now what should happen, fingers crossed, is that when we take this stencil away, we should be left with a good angle like there is on the photo. Now as you can see, not just the extension here, but because the eyeshadow has been brought up so high here it is a very strong look and like on that editorial um, that's the space between lid and brow with my eyes raised and it's a lot of space but when my eyes come back down to their normal resting place right up here is where the color has to go in order for it to be visible on that part now all we're going to do and this is why i think it's interesting because i think women in general it's very hard because you see these beautiful images, but they're often, they're on incredible specimens, incredible eye shapes. And on our real eyes, 
It doesn't always work that way. So what I'm going to do is just run a deep, the deeper shadow along the lash line. And I can't see a bloody thing I'm doing. Let's see if I can move the camera, uh, the mirror a little bit closer. So I'm just going to wiggle it on that upper lash line. And I'm going to go right the way into the inner corner. Now, of course, in the actual picture, there's fake lashes. We're not going to do that. We're just going to pop some mascara on and then we'll finish this tutorial. Okay, there it is. That is the completed tutorial. And as you can see, it's a very, very dramatic look. And you're never going to get away from that if you have a very small eye and you're trying to make it visible in that upper part of the crease because the space between lid and brow is so short. I mean, it's not a terrible look. It is dramatic and, you know, it is what it is. Now, I hope you find this kind of interesting because we do see so many beautiful eyeshadow looks, but oftentimes replicating them on ourselves is incredibly difficult because we don't have that eye shape or that eye space that a lot of people have. So I hope you find this a little bit interesting. I mean, you know, it's totally, totally, you know, popping out for just a little straw around the part of the dog. It's that kind of eye, you know, definitely, definitely. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all soon. Bye bye. Now, let's see if we can correct this and just make it look a little bit less than what it is. What do you think? Let's see where we go. So let's start by really trying to blend this upper part of the eyeshadow away and then extending this outside area. Because then what we're doing is we're adding back the space that we have, which is here, bringing light to this area, making it look like there's more there than there is. And then lightly blending away the hard edge. Okay, so what I did here was, as you saw, I blended away that top part of the eyeshadow. And I really blended it so that it faded out into nothing. And then I extended this outside corner and then blended it into the brow. And then I put on the lighter shade. And I actually think that is more flattering and I'm going to, as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, I'm going to explain another way of doing um, your eyeshadow that you can still get dramatic results but without touching this part of the eye so that it's not hitting the brow. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.